Wow. Yeah. Hey, 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 welcome to the Basement Show Podcast. Short baby, that's right, T, you and me, girl. <laughs> All right, what do we got today? <laughs> How am I supposed to go beyond your boy band opening? I don't know. I don't know. It's fun, though. That was that was wacky. Yeah, it's Saturday, you know what I mean? That's what we do okay. on Saturday mornings. Expressions. Yeah. Cross that bridge when you come to it. That's right. Just wait and then cross. People say that all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Mm-hmm. But why? Who is that bridge? Uh, this usual expression is much loved by procrastinators mm-hmm. because it is a convenient way to delay or avoid facing a problem. It is inevitable. If someone points out a potential future problem, you can simply dismiss them and say, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Mm. Um, the literal meaning, I don't want to think about this now. Let's hope it won't happen, but if it does, we'll handle it then. <laughs> Procrastination personified. <laughs> Procrastination nation. Mm. Cross that bridge when you come to it is used to suggest that problems can be delayed until they're at a critical point. <laughs> this is a critical level. Defcon um, 5. Seriously. <laughs> the phrase can be used with any tense or point of view. For example, one might say, I'm going to cross that bridge when I come to it, or she told me she's going to cross that bridge when she comes to it. <laughs> Crossing the bridge is a metaphor for confronting or dealing with the issue at hand. The saying suggests there's no reason to worry about the bridge if one isn't directly in front of it yet. The bridge... One has to cross might be a physical task, mental or emotional uncomfortable conversation, a meeting, or anything that has been put one has been putting off for some time. Mm-hmm. The phrase is usually used to refer to something negative, but it might also be something positive. True. Someone might say they don't want to think about too far in the future in regard to a potentially exciting outcome. As long as we're having For fun, example. that's the whole point. Yeah, as long as you have fun. Yeah, fun. To understand the idiom, imagine every difficulty you have as a river. To solve the problem, you must cross the river by going over an old bridge in disrepair. Mm, much like a life. A rickety, rickety bridge. Mm. And because there are many problems on life's journey, you will have to cross many dangerous bridges. I feel like I'm being like a, a, a self-motivation, like a self-help person right now. I feel like Gandalf. You I shall know. not pass. Well, it's like the Holy Grail. Mm. Answer these questions three. <laughs> However, it won't help you to stress out about all the bridges at once. It's better to focus on each one as it approaches. In other words, you'll deal with the problem, i.e. crossing the bridge, once it arises. This idiom first appeared in writing in the year 1851, and the work titled The Golden Legend by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Longfellow. The full line was, don't cross the bridge till you come to it. It's a proverb old and of excellent wit. Mm. This suggests that the proverb was already known at that time. Mm. So it's an old saying, Ryan. That's right, it's old. Based on references, it's more likely the proverb was simply trying to say, don't wade across the river when there's a bridge up ahead. Right. When referring to a problem, basically... Don't try to solve the issue before you have an actual chance to solve the issue. That's right, folks. Turn around. Don't drown. (laughs) It's widely speculated the saying um, didn't have anything to do with actual bridges. Although if it did, it would be because bridges make for excellent checkpoints and are very prominent locations in military strategy and banditry. Banditry, huh? Banditry, like Hmm. the the old highway bandits. That's right. They'd wait under the bridge and then... We should do that one Saturday. Highway banditing? Yeah, yeah. Take a week off and go (laughs) highway robber. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So, uh, (laughs) so I don't know what we're going to talk about in the full-length episode that we will have next week, but I guess we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, yeah, we will. Uh, in the meantime, be sure to hit the bell oh. to be notified when we drop new mediocre content. And if you're feeling generous, like, share, and subscribe. That's right. And I got all that out of the way. You did. And we'll be back, baby. Mm. Give us little kisses. Mm. Mm. Be safe on that Zakum. Cross it when you come be to it. Be safe on that Zakum. Yeah, that's right. You'll be waiting a long time. You're born Sagamore, Zakum. There's traffic on all. Right, stay away from the Sagamore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sadamore. 
know. It's so sad. I can't get over it. Over that bridge. Yes. Yes.